Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post videos of all things fashion and beauty related that are also vegan and cruelty free. And today I wanted to talk about something that I get a lot of questions on, and that is my reusable cups. If you follow me on Instagram, I do share a lot of the reusable cups that I use because I like a lot of beverages. <laughs> so whether it be coffee, which I've been drinking less of lately, or matchas, or iced teas, or whatever it might be, you will most likely see me with a reusable cup getting those drinks. And using a reusable cup is probably one of the first steps towards a more sustainable, zero waste lifestyle that I made just because it was an easy one to do. And I actually prefer drinking out of reusable cups over drinking out of plastic. And I feel like it's gotta be better for you health-wise anyways. So for me, it was kind of a no-brainer to start using reusable cups. So if you're watching this and you have not yet made that switch, hopefully I will help change your mind a little bit. I am a big, big fan of reusable cups. I actually kind of have sort of an addiction to them. I have more than is probably necessary, definitely more than is necessary, but each one, feels like a little purpose in my eyes. That's why I have so many. <laughs> I recently had my kitchen professionally organized, which I will share more about that at some point if I haven't already. When they were reorganizing stuff, they were like, do you really need this cup? Do you need this cup? Do you need, I was like, yes, I need them all. I got rid of a few that had definitely been neglected for a while, but I would say the ones I'm showing you today I use interchangeably pretty regularly. So let's not drag this out any longer because I'm sure I'm already going to give you way more information than you ever wanted to know about reusable cups. Let's start with the classic, the first reusable drinking product I ever got, and that is the Hydro Flask. This one is 32 ounces and I prefer the straw lid, they come with a variety of different lids. Um, you can just get like a twist off lid if you prefer to sip it or um, if you want to use it as like a coffee cup or things like that, they also have lids for that. But the straw lid is my favorite because I primarily use this one for water. And the reason I like it is because it's very big. 32 ounces of water is a nice amount of water. I try to drink three to four of these a day on a good day and I think that that's pretty nice. And what's great about it is it's just so easy to keep track of the amount of water you're drinking. So I know if I drink a full one of this, I have 32 ounces of water. If I fill it up again, I have another 32 ounces of water, so on and so forth, you get the gist. Now, there are many brands out there that have a similar product like this one, similar lid, similar size, um, and they all seem to be pretty comparable. Um, even some of the other brands that I'm gonna mention have a bottle almost exactly like this, if that's something you're interested in. The Hydro Flask is a more expensive brand, so I would say that's something to consider. Something that bothers me is that if you drop this thing once, you will dent or chip it, most likely. Like, it is not the most durable when it comes to dropping, so if you're somebody who clumsy like myself or tries to carry too many things in at once and you are likely to drop it, that is something to consider. Which is a bummer because it is pretty darn expensive. That being said, Hydro Flask has really, really great customer service. And if you do drop your Hydro Flask and it dents and you feel like it's compromised the quality of your water, like your water isn't staying as cold as long, or if you're feeling like the pressure um, is off, like I've had one that got dented and I would leave this on my nightstand overnight. And when I woke up, it would have water like on the top. Like it just had too, like the pressure was off inside of there. So if that is the case, you can email Hydro Flask and they will trade you for a new one. I feel the need to mention that this is a stainless steel water bottle. So it does keep cold drinks cold longer and it keeps hot drinks hot longer. And that is definitely something that I look for because when your water's cold, you're more likely to drink it. Lukewarm water is just not as appetizing as nice cold water. So this is definitely a reusable product that I carry with me pretty much 24 seven. You'll almost never see me without it. I love it so much. Okay, next I have another water bottle. This is by BKR and this is actually a glass water bottle and it has this really cute silicone sleeve and they come in lots of different colors. Mine is this like rose gold spiked 
type of sleeve. And I really like this one for when I just need a little bit of water. Um, maybe I'm just going to go to a workout class really quick and I don't need the full Hydro Flask because sometimes that can be a lot to carry. And also sometimes I just like the way water tastes out of glass as opposed to the stainless steel. I don't think that it has a huge difference on taste, but I do think there is a little bit of a difference. So I do really like to have this one on hand for occasions like that. I also know that this is not going to leak in my bag, whereas with the Hydro Flask, because it does have the straw lid, sometimes it will leak in my bag. Whereas this one I can just kind of toss in and know that it's good to go. Also, if you have two water bottles, it's always nice to fill up both of them. And then if you finish one, you always have an extra for days where I'm going to be gone all day and I'm going to be in the car for a while or for road trips. I like to do that just so I don't have to pay for a plastic water bottle because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of using a reusable cup. But you know, if you do have your reusable, you can always ask them to fill it up with water at Starbucks, at a restaurant, so you can stop into a gas station and fill it up with water. So there are options where you don't have to buy a water bottle if you are out and about. All right, next up, I have another product from Hydro Flask. I will be lying to you if I said that I bought this cup for any other reason other than the color. I am absolutely just tickled by this beautiful mauve purple color and that is the sole reason I purchased this cup. <laughs> I also really like the idea of a smaller cup that I could use for hot and cold drinks. I'm pretty sure the lid and straw are purchased separately. The lid that it comes with is actually a lid like this and I hate this lid. It's so worthless. It's trash. So if you read the reviews on this cup, you're gonna probably see a lot of people who say similar things. There's nothing to close the mouth of this top, as you can see. It has like a hole in there to let out heat and then it's got the little part that you drink out of, but there's nothing to close it. So what ends up happening is you put your nice little hot cup of tea in here, you mosey on out to your car, you have your hands full, it spills all over your arm, your arm is burned and you die. Literally that happened. I didn't die, but I did hurt my arm really bad. I hate this lid, it's worthless. This lid on the other hand, I really, really like for many reasons. First of all, the straw is very um, thick, I guess you could say. It has a lot of room for liquids to come through. That does affect your drinking experience, believe it or not. And um, so what I like to use this cup for is smoothies on the go. Let's say I wake up in the morning, I make a smoothie, but I don't get to finish it before my workout and I have to go. I can put it in this cup, put it in the fridge and then take it out and I'm good to go. Or let's say I make it, I'm going to an audition and I'm gonna be out of the car for like 30 minutes to an hour, but I wanna drink it when I'm done. I can drink half of it, leave it in the car, come back and it's still cold and it still tastes good. So that's what I like this cup for. Um, but I will say that because this lid is such trash, I don't use this one as much anymore. And it's kind of been replaced by a new favorite of mine. I would say I use this pretty much exclusively for smoothies or if my other ones are all dirty, then I will use this one. The one that has taken its place is this one by Simple Modern. This is a 22 ounce classic tumbler and I have it in this beautiful matte black. And I love this cup so much. So I have actually two of these. And okay, I actually have four of them because I have one of these, Jesse has one of these. I have one of these, Jesse has one of these. So between us we have four, but we use them. We definitely use these more than any other reusable cup in our collection. This one is 28 ounces. So I like this one for iced teas. If I want a bunch of iced coffee, I will do this, or a big iced latte, I will do this as well but mostly iced teas and water. So if I don't feel like carrying the Hydro Flask because I don't wanna have two reusable cups, I will just fill this up with tea or coffee, go on about my day, rinse it out, fill it up with water, and it's just very multi-purpose for that reason. And this one I use mostly for smaller coffees, and then I also use it for hot drinks, like hot teas and hot coffees. And the best part about these cups from Simple Modern is that each one comes with two lids and two straws. You have the option of either this lid right here, which is such a sleek lid with a hole for a straw, 
or you have the option of this lid, which is an excellent hot coffee lid, Hydro Flask. Take notes because it opens up and seals so well so that your drink is not going to spill. What's also cool about this hot lid is that you can use it for cold drinks if you want to. So if you're traveling, you really only need this one lid and a straw and you're good to go and you can have hot, cold water, whatever you want. So this is what it looks like with the other lid and the straw inside. And then you can just take the straw out and enjoy a hot drink like so. And then this one came with the same deal. So you have a hot drink lid and an extra straw as well. They are pretty affordable in comparison to some of the other types of brands out there. And I just think that they're so versatile. Another nice thing is that they're super slim, so they will fit in pretty much any cup holder. I have very small cup holders in my car and these fit perfectly. So that is another thing to keep in mind. Next, I have this cup from Ello. I just washed it so it's a little foggy because I just used it for my smoothie this morning. So I get so many questions about this cup. It is 20 ounces. It is dishwasher safe, but the lid and straw are hand wash. So that is something that's really cool because most of these are not dishwasher safe. Most of these are hand wash. I love the beautiful pink color. I love the pink colored straw. I just think it's so girly and pretty. I really like to use this mostly for smoothies. I will drink it at home. Sometimes I just want a lid and a straw while I'm drinking my smoothie or I'll take it to go, or for days where I'm not sure if I'm gonna drink it at home or to go, I will drink it out of this just for safety purposes. And I will occasionally use it for iced coffees or iced teas, but the thing about the glass as opposed to the stainless steel is it just doesn't keep it as cold as long. It's kind of the same as using plastic. It's gonna melt pretty quickly after you get the drink. You're gonna wanna drink your drink within like an hour of drinking it. Whereas with the other ones, you can kind of take your time, drink your drink throughout the day, and you don't have to worry about it being melted or watered down. This one is not like that, but I do really like it for smoothies. The straw is definitely big enough so that you can suck up a nice thick smoothie through it, and um, yeah. This is another product from Elo. This is a ceramic mug, and honestly, again, I just really like the aesthetics of it, and that was a big reason for me buying it. I bought this last winter because I do like to have more hot drinks in the winter, and I liked the option of having a ceramic to-go mug because sometimes with the stainless steel, they do keep it so hot that you almost can't drink it for the first like 30 to 40 minutes of getting your hot drink, whereas this one is a ceramic mug, so it's gonna cool down a lot quicker. So I really like it. Again, I like to use it at home sometimes. You know, you can just use it as a mug like this, and then if you are gonna go somewhere, pop the to-go lid back on, and you're ready to go. Or if you just are a klutz and you are afraid of spilling everywhere, you can leave it on while you're working. It does help kind of trap the heat, so it is gonna keep the drink hotter than it would with a standard mug where it's open. So I do really like this one. For So for those of you who are not a fan of the stainless steel, this is a really good one. And last and probably my most eco-friendly and sustainable reusable cup option, this is the e-coffee cup. I purchased this from Package Free Shop and what I love about this mug is that it's made of bamboo so it's 100% biodegradable. It really is a zero waste coffee cup. Whereas the other cups, eventually are going to end up in a landfill most likely, hopefully not, but eventually there is that possibility. Whereas with this one, it's 100% biodegradable. It's very small, so I would say that's my biggest gripe about it. As somebody who very rarely drinks anything this small, I don't reach for it quite as often. I am like a grande or above kind of girl. But if you're somebody who really just likes a small coffee in the morning or you like a little espresso in the morning then this would be a really good option for you i love how it's matte black it's all black it's so sleek it has this silicone top with a stopper so it can help keep your drink hot and also prevent spills and yeah, it's a really, really good one. I do really like it. Um, I would just say the only thing for me is that it's a little too small, but I should research and see if they have anything bigger because 
it is good and I like that it's 100% biodegradable. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I've now talked almost 30 minutes about reusable cups, but I hope you found it helpful in some regard. If you have a reusable cup brand that is your favorite that I didn't mention, please leave it in the comments down below so that people watching this video can look and see what you guys like as well and kind of be a nice little resource for people. Um, definitely, please consider using reusable cups if you haven't already. It's such an easy switch to make. It's so much better for the environment. Your drinks will taste better and I highly, highly recommend it. It is something that I honestly don't even think about anymore. It's kind of like when you first start trying to do zero waste, you feel like you're constantly messing up, like you're constantly leaving your reusable grocery bags at home, you're constantly leaving your reusable cups at home, but eventually it's going to be something that you don't even think about. You just grab it before you leave the house no matter what. So don't worry if you're feeling a little like you can't commit, you can do it. And let's say goodbye to single-use plastic. It is not necessary. We don't need it in this world and hopefully we will see a future where we aren't using it anymore. All right, so if you guys did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.